Uh, this is a short video about modulation waveforms and it's intended to form part of the distance learning course for the advanced radio communications examination but uh, I'm sure that others will find it equally useful. I'm going to demonstrate how the microphone gain setting on an AM transmitter affects the waveform and the quality of the received audio. To do that I've got a little test rig set up and uh, it comprises of a small homemade QRP AM transmitter that produces about 500 milliwatts and uh, that's going into a dummy load um, and that's connected to uh, this oscilloscope so uh, we should be able to see the uh, waveform on the screen. Um, I've also got a small handheld there which is monitoring 1.9 megahertz so we should be able to hear the transmitted signal as well. Okay, uh, you're now hearing the, uh, the transmission picked up on the handheld and hopefully you can see the waveform on the, uh, the scope screen. Now it looks a little messy because my voice isn't a pure sine wave. Um, perhaps if I whistle you get a, a, a more of a, a picture of what the, uh, the A waveform looks like in the textbooks. Uh, but hopefully you can see that the uh, amplitude changes as my voice modulates the waveform. Okay, to make things a little clearer, I'm going to replace the microphone with a small audio oscillator that produces a, a nice sine wave. And um, let's switch that on. And uh, here is the sine wave on the screen. It's uh, it's about 600 hertz, um, the sort of tone that you might get from a CW transmission or, or something that you would pick up on the receiver. And um, this little oscillator has got a gain control, and if I alter the gain control, you can see that the the amplitude, the size of the um, audio signal, increases um, or decreases uh, right down to uh, to nothing. And then we can take it right back up again. And you'll notice that although the amplitude changes, the frequency stays exactly the same. There's no variation in that at all. Hence, as we adjust that, you'll get the amplitude modulation rather than frequency modulation. OK, so uh, I've now wired the oscillator into the transmitter um, acting as if it was a microphone and um, switching to transmit we should see some uh, some carrier and you can hear a very very faint uh, tone there because the uh, although the gain set to zero there is a little bit of leakage of the audio through but basically this is the unmodulated uh, waveform and um, whilst it just looks like a green blur it is actually a, a high frequency signal and if we speed up the scope um, we should see that the uh, the waveform starts to uh, appear a little bit distorted but um, that's the the 1.8 megs signal that we were seeing before uh, that we were hearing um, much higher frequency than the audio tone at 600 Hertz uh, now hopefully when we start to increase the modulation and the uh, sort of simulating what you would do increasing the mic gain on your transmitter we can start to see the the same 600 hertz tone increase and decrease as we go uh, you'll notice as the, the modulation increases the sound through the receiver gets louder and louder until it starts to sound pretty awful and uh, if we adjust the scope to stop that from moving you can see the wave is now flat topping and you're getting break up in the wave. Okay. So what we do is reduce the modulation so you've got a little bit of carrier left so it's less than 100% modulation and it sounds okay. Um, again if we back it off further you get less audio and the carrier is pretty much unmodulated at that point. We set it to 100% modulation, so you're just about touching in the middle. It's probably about there. Um, it's starting to get a bit distorted. Something like that is probably sufficient to give you a nice, clean uh, sounding signal on transmit. OK, 
Okay, that sounds a bit better. <laughs> um, I hope that's been useful in demonstrating what the uh, the modulated waveform looks like on an AM transmitter. And uh, hopefully you can see that by putting too much audio from your microphone into the uh, modulator, it will not only distort and cause uh, interference to other radio users, uh, but it sounds pretty awful at the other end as well. So you're not likely to get very many QSOs with it set like that. Okay, well, good luck with your studies and seven threes from G0FUW.